you two friends. It's um, it's the beginning of January. We're all locked down again here in the UK. Complete lockdown, which was necessary. And it's a lovely sunny day, but I've got this kind of curiosity about all of this lot. Uh, this is one of the um, drawers from the big set of drawers over there. And it's full of jars of beads and bits of beads that I've collected over the years. And when I was doing some sorting out just before Christmas, I found these. They weren't hidden or anything, they were right there. <laughs> I didn't have to look very hard and these are some beads that I made um, 15 years ago maybe two strings of beads they're very sparkly and lovely they're not extra special or anything but I really like them and so I at Christmas time I started wearing them <laughs> and really enjoyed wearing them because I don't have I have ears I don't like wearing earrings uh, and you know I have ears I have pierced ears but I don't like wearing earrings and so um, I started wearing these and really enjoying um, having a little bit of bling so that got me thinking also at the same time I took down the Christmas decorations from the kitchen and not I didn't just take down the ones I put up I took down everything so it's a little bit clearer looking in the kitchen now because we're looking a bit of a cluttered old mess <laughs> so in this bag here is um, all sorts of things that used to hang from the ceiling and, and actually this is in a big old model uh, let's make some space what I really need to do is uh, so that the plan today then because having got all these jars and um, all these things out of the drawer here and having unpacked this um, I made loads of these look which are just on stiff wire which you could use as decorations and I had them hanging up and made sort of yeah things with them but because I've been enjoying wearing these couple of, um, that one in particular, these couple of necklaces, I thought, well, why don't I have a go at making some more? I'll tell you the history of why I've got all of these. Apart from the fact that, you know, you just collect stuff like this, don't you? Well, I do. I just collect stuff like this. But about, I don't know, I was trying to work it out maybe 15 years ago, something like that. My son, John, was um, working in South Africa for a year. And when I went out to visit him and I stayed in Cape Town, um, on Long Street in Cape Town, there's a bead warehouse. It's an absolute delight for the senses. Uh, and I spent, um, well, I've visited there a few times and I bought loads and loads of little bits and pieces from there. And I made um, little stitch markers because in this box here, there's another box over here. Let's have a look in this one. This is a nice little cardboard box here. And in this box, there are beading needles. There's little uh, clasps for the ends of necklaces. There's crimping beads, which are which is what keeps the beads on the thread. Uh, what else is there in here? Um, just, they're called findings. Little bits of jewellery findings. And I've, so those were four earrings. Those are the ear wires where you put make earrings. I don't make earrings. I used to make earrings. Um, but the crimping beads is what I need. And But also what I need more than anything is the crimping pliers. And they're a special pair of pliers. So let's just show you on this one, if I can. I wonder if I'm going to be able to show you this. Oh, it's so tiny. I have to get my glasses just a minute. So I started looking at, I started wearing these couple of necklaces here. And I started looking at all the bits and pieces I've got to do with making 
beady things. Then I took down all of these from the uh, ceiling in the kitchen and it was all kind of coming together to have a sort of beady time. I went online to a place called the Bead Shop. They were having a sale. <sighs> Dangerous. And I thought, well, I've got all these beads, none of them terribly inspiring. I mean, some of them are lovely, but I thought I'm going to buy a few more beads to um, add to my stash. And then I'm going to make another necklace, at least one. So let's see what's inside here, shall we? So the first thing that I decided to buy, because I don't know about you, but I find it, you know, when I'm trying to put this on with this really little fiddly little closure, it's too tiny. So I bought these, which um, are magnetic clasps. So you put your beads onto these and then they go ka-ching. No fiddling around. So what I might do with my two necklaces here, I might remake them and put these on the end. So I've got some of those for that. And then I just bought, for no good reason I can think of, a couple of packets of mixed beads. This one, which I think is really pretty. Some nice green beads with little flecks of red in there. But then this one here, these are the, I really like these. Let me show you these. I'll show you them one at a time. There's this one, which is all sorts of mixed beads. I mean, that's almost ready to wear now, isn't it? But I am going to take them off here and make them into another necklace. This one, which is just delicious. Beautiful pinky beads. These are redder, sort of ochre sort of colour. And then another one of those. So I've got four of those. A couple of these which are bigger size. They're all one size. A few of these which are a bit smaller. And uh, then all the beads that I've already got. Now some of these aren't great. I mean, you know, they're all right. Take them out one at a time. I've had them for such a long time. You know how you get bored with things you've had for a long time? But I think there's still some treasures in here that would fit in very well with what I've bought. So uh, we'll keep the new ones to one side. In fact, yeah, I'll put them back on top of that envelope so that I know that those are the new ones. So what I'm going to do now, I think, I think I'm going to sort out... this bag here because this is the bag that's got everything in that I took from the ceiling and I just dumped it all in here so that's what I need to do I need to undo everything in this bag now it's got big decorations in so I'm just going to untangle all of this because I took it all down but I didn't really store it terribly well and that's no good is it so we'll take these out here which are my big Christmas decks we'll give those a clean and we'll decide what we're going to do with those I'll put those in that lid for now yeah that's what I'm going to do then so um I'll chat to you while I'm doing it they've been up in the ceiling for years now and you stop seeing things after a while don't you do you not think I do so it's sometimes a good idea isn't it just to rejig things I like these glass ornaments very much, but I really wasn't seeing them. And they are a bit Christmassy, so they can go away. Now, there's another thing that I've got in this bag here. They perhaps all need a bit of a wipe. Uh, that's not one. OK, I'm going to need another tray. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, I'll use this one. I've got this tray here, which is a beautiful Highland cow on there that my brother gave me for Christmas. That was a good gift, wasn't it? Well done, brother. Part of his bumper bag of bits. OK, then, that's what we're going to do. Now, it's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining and the snow is glistening. So I'll do a little bit of this and then you never know, I might go out and have uh, a bit of a crunchy walk in the snow like I did the other day. But for now, I kind of want to do this. OK, then, so. Beads there. So I've looked for pliers. I've looked for my crimping pliers and I found every little pair of pliers I own. 
except for the crimping pliers, which are blue handled. and I couldn't find them anywhere. My trusty archery forceps, always handy, a little pair of pliers and a little crimping thing that's not a crimper and then a round nose pliers. Between all of those, I think we'll manage perfectly to do what it is I want to do. But we're going to be a long way off doing that just yet because I want to have a think about what it is I want to make. Now, when I went to South Africa and bought all these little bits and pieces of beads, I also bought uh, a, a tray, which is sort of like got indentations in it to help you stop the beads rolling around when you're making a necklace or whatever. That's somewhere in the house, can't find that. And I bought a mat, which is just like a piece of, um, what's that stuff called? Um, it's just a sort of, um, you see what I'm doing? It's kind of a bit woolly. Well, the thing that I'm substituting it with, because I can't find that either, is I've got a piece of, uh, just a little off cut of um, quilting um, wadding here, just a bit. And this stops the beads from rolling about all over the place. So you can lay them out without them moving and um, into a something that you like the look of and then string them up. Now, in my drawer here, this is fishing wire. But I've also got proper bead wire there. Oh no, that stretch cord, if you were going to make a bracelet or something to put around your wrist, that's that. But somewhere in here, I've got some special, that's that, not that. I've got some beading wire, the right stuff. So this is 15 mil uh, plastic coated wire, especially for making necklaces and jewellery. Now, I don't want to get into this again. I used to do it quite a bit. I don't want to do it again, but I did think, you know, especially as I got onto that bead site and found some lovely new beads, I thought, oh, go on, let's make another, let's make another wee necklace. So that's far more than I need. So I'll cut that off there and let's have a think, shall we? Um, because I've got these beads, I'm very much thinking that I might make um, pink with a bit of green. What a surprise. Now, actually, this stuff that I bought is also on beading wire. <laughs> so, and that's a good, nice, thick, substantial wire. Hmm. Let's have a play. And then I, I'll have collected these from all sorts of places over the years, not just one source. Loads and loads of different places. I'm just going to take out these glass beads. I quite like to make beads, glass, you know, glass beads. I've seen them. I've watched a few YouTube videos of people making, making them in a, a, a flame, you know, twisting the glass around. I love all that stuff. But there's not enough hours in the day and I've got these already. So I'm just going to take out the ones that I'm drawn to. There's some here that I'm not that bothered about. That one I think is too big, for instance. Um, oh, those are nice. Yeah, I like those. Those blue ones, maybe. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Let's put those there for now. And see if there are any more in any of these other jars. You see, this is a useful thing to... Um, to tip beads onto. I'm not tipping those out though. They're mostly full of seed beads, those. I don't want those all over the place. Right then, so what's the plan? So we've got this tray here full of stuff that I like. I'm going to take out the massive ones because I don't really want massive ones. That's another ceramic. We'll have those as we'll use them if we want to beads. Put those there. So now what I'm going to do then is, um, well, let's try this. I'm going to get one of my magnetic clasps and my piece of 
necklace wire and I'm going to have a go <laughs> at putting a crimping bead on the end of here. Now, where are they? Where are the crimping beads? Let's open a packet of these. These are crimping beads. Okay. They're in a little pack here. Now there's 200 in here, but I only need two, but I'm going to put two on each end. That's what I used to do just to be absolutely certain that um, if one fails, then another one will work. You can get bigger crimping beads than this, but these are the ones I got in South Africa all that time. Now, we'll put two beads on here. Oh, <laughs> just flicked that somewhere. Let's get another one out, Kate. <laughs> oh, let's get a few out. Go on, I'm going to put them back again. So that's bound to happen again. So we're going to get, I hope I've got this camera at a good angle for you to see, two crimping beads on there. The first part of the clasp there. That's why it's good that I've cut this extra long because I don't have to fiddle too much. Then I'm going to feed this spare end here. You know what I'm doing under the crimping beads like so. One, two. And this is when I really do need those super duper pliers, but I'm going to have a go at just using, because what they do is they flatten the crimping bead and then fold it back on itself. But I've looked and looked and I can't find them anywhere. One last look in this drawer, because they would be the best thing to use. But I can't find them. So instead, I'm going to flatten that bead with the Artery forceps, it's quite easy to do. Flatten, flatten. A little bit apart from one another, like that. Okay, like that. And then, um, which are the best ones? I'll try with these pliers. Then I'm going to try and fold that in half, which is what the crimping pliers do in one movement. So I don't know where they are. I'll find them, no doubt. Mm, because that's just, is that just going to, no, it's not going to come off actually. That's pretty damn good. Having two on there means it's super safe. If one gives, the other one will stay put. And also I'm not going to cut that taily bit off there. Whoops. I'm not going to cut that taily bit off there. I'm going to put the first few beads over it. OK, so let's put the crimping beads off to one side for now. Don't need those just now. Although if you were making a really fine, tiny necklace, you could use those as spacers if you wanted to. OK, then. So now I'm going to undo these lovely green beads. With a little bit of pink in them like those. And let's decide, I think we'll liberate those beads and maybe those. Those are some of these darker colours. This is a bit too red, I think, and sort of autumny colours. So I might leave that one on the wire. And instead, we'll cut the end off this one. It's good to have a box, a bag to put all your bits in so that you're not, they're not all ending up on the floor. So I'm going to liberate these beads now and just pull that wire out. I will keep that wire though. Okay. And that's the, oh, let's keep them a little bit separate, just a little bit. So there's some nice blue ones in there, but what the, the thing I'm noticing about these beads is they're all the same size. And so if you look at this string of beads, what I've done here is I've mixed up all sorts of different sizes and colours. Um, so I remember buying those beads. I bought them when I went to Harrogate, to the knitting and stitching show at Harrogate. And there was a maybe this company that I got these from was there. I don't know who it was. It was such a long time ago. 
when I was really enjoying, oh, there's one on the floor. I'll get that one later. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, I was really enjoying all this beading. And so for a little while I, I would, you know, buy bits and pieces. Okay, then. So there's all the greeny ones. And I'm, I think I'll leave those for now. Let's see what's in here, though. This is the mixed bag, which I just bought. Because as I say, they were in the sale. So I bought these as well. They're nice. So there's some there's some bigger and smaller ones, which is actually what I want. I don't want um, all the same size beads. Not really. There's not really a great range of colours there. Let's see what's in this one. Nice pink one there. Pink one. Yeah, they get everywhere. This is why this this is such a good thing. Um, okay, we'll just leave those there for now. And then we'll have a think. Don't like that one in that mix. And this is the ones that I've just added from my stash. So there's only a couple of big ones there. Let's add some of these in, see what happens. Sort of orangey ones. That's nice. About these light pink ones. Maybe they go in. I don't know. That one. We'll add them in. See what happens to how it looks. These are these ones are nice. They're kind of triangular. I think a lot of beads come from the Czech Republic, don't they? It's quite a history of bead making. I'd love to find out a bit more about it. Lamp work, it's called. That's what it's called, lamp work. But the aim today, though, is just to make a string of beads um, just for the fun of it and see if um, I like wearing that string just as much as I like the other two. And we might make 2021 the year of the beads. What do you think? Let's try those now. Okay, I think in my experience, which is very, very, very limited indeed, making the beads that I have made, don't overthink it, is what I would say. <laughs> so just we're just going to start. Now, this is where you need your specs, isn't it? Um, I have some new glasses on order. But I can't pick them up in this snow. So the way that I'm going to do this is when I put the beads on, I'm just going to make sure that it traps that end as well. So that will make it extra secure too. That crimping bead's not very tidy, but it's not much I can do about that really. Right, I'm very much liking these, these ones here. And then this is when you haven't got the right glasses on when you decide that they haven't put a hole in this one. Oh, they forgot the hole in this one. I think they have, actually. <laughs> now, nah, there it is. Hmm. Trickier than I thought. Come on, is there a hole in this bead? Yes, it's there. Ha ha ha, gotcha. Well, if it's going to be like that, it's going to be tricky for all of them, isn't it? OK, so these first few, then, I just have to double check. That that's going through like that and then not to get too precious about it not to count them or or because you can you know what is it you can always take them off again can't you and um, restring them if you don't like what you've done I think we'll get some of these blue ones in though because I quite like them and I don't want the whole th I don't want it to be like all pink you know it, it's you know, I've not been in the dressing up box here. This is something I actually want to wear. <laughs> Although maybe Agnes will end up wearing these in a few years time with a feather boa or something. That would be fine. There now. That's the beginning. Let's just keep going. And I don't want it this long because I've made it extra long. I like it just to sit here. So that's we'll keep an eye on that to make sure that that doesn't happen. And the best thing about it is, you know, if we hate it, 
we can undo them and redo them again in a few, in a few weeks time if we want to. Right, I'm just going to make sure that I have a nice mix. These this really dark red ones lovely. Yeah, but I definitely can't see these holes very well. Look at the pit's getting old. <laughs> it's not good. Now I was watching um the artist that I like to watch this morning uh, on uh, YouTube every morning. She does a live stream and she was painting this morning. She was in her journal book, but she makes fantastic jewellery. I mean, really quite, quite quirky and different to anything I ever make. This isn't really jewellery making. It's just stringing a few beads on a bit of wire. But Michelle makes the most amazing jewellery. Now, is this a bit boring? No, it's all good. Keep going, Kate. Keep going. Don't worry. It's all good. If we like the beads on the table, we're going to like them when they're on the string, aren't we? I'm not putting as many pink ones in as I thought I would. Let's get some paley pink ones in there now. These ones with, with no holes. Yeah, this is very therapeutic and totally unnecessary. I don't need to be doing this. I've got a list of about 100 things I should be doing. But this packet caught my eye and I thought, well, before I put it away and forget all about it, let's have a play with it this morning. See what's going on. Well, that's a nice one. Now, they're all round except for a few of these little triangular looking ones. So... I don't really want to buy a whole load of new beads because, as you can see, I've got enough to keep anybody going. But that one's the same colour. Um, if I get into this and I decide I really like wearing beads, I might have to have a different one for every day of the week. <laughs> oh, Kate, what you like? I've also got some other stuff that I'm doing, which is the other reason why I got the beads out, because I'm making some other things which may need embellishing. That's all I'll say about that. There's so many lovely things coming our way in 2021. Yes, we're in a national lockdown and yes, the situation is about as bad as it could be uh, globally and nationally for me. You know, we're right back in a tier four lockdown here but hey what I say is at least we know how to do it and massive big and the vaccine's on its way and I'm not eligible to have the vaccine in, until about the fourth wave but I'll be there the second they send me an invitation I'm going so we'll get ourselves vaccinated which is what we didn't have last time don't want that one there First one I've taken off. That one's a bit too pale, I think, for all these lovely sparkly colours we've got. Let's see how this is looking now. A little bit dull. When you consider that, you know, this is what was inspiring it. Never mind. Maybe some days I'll enjoy wearing a, something a little bit more, less, a bit more subtle, I was going to say, but it's not subtle really, is it? No, not at all. Not at all. I just think it's so easy. You, t you need almost nothing, you know, a little bit of the right kind of wire, which is fishing wire. Fishing wire does fine. You get your hands on a bit of that. I think it is the crimping beads that make um, that make this work. It really is. I've got loads of crimping beads. Um, so, you know, I've got enough to satisfy my beading desires for the longest time. Yeah, I've got some other ideas for things I want to do with these beads. <laughs> That's a nice one. And it's not going to take long either. 
really. Is that too big? Does that one fit? Yeah, no, don't like that one. Take that one off. Put some more of these on. Oops, definitely skiddly little things they are. Yeah, the tray that I had, um, which had, it was formed so there were, that you know, I could lay the necklace out like that and see how it looked. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, I do. I don't like that one. Let's take that one out. It's a bit too big. I think this is going to end up being a slightly smaller necklace. Um, that's fine. I'm looking forward to seeing how well the magnets work. Because that's a game changer. It's really hard to put these things on when they're so fiddly behind your back. It's interesting, isn't it? Because you're watching me doing this there and, you, and you know, I'm sure you're saying, oh, no, don't put that one on next. Put that blue one on, Kate. Oh, no, a few more pink ones. You haven't got enough pink. And everyone's got their own personal opinion about how this should look, haven't you? You have, haven't you? Yes, I know. I know. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go for my walk around the lake because I haven't done that today. That one hasn't got a hole in either. Some of these beads haven't got holes in, although, of course, we know they have because they came off a string, didn't they? It's my eyes. That's the problem. Right. That's looking like that. Let's just see how how it looks for size. Oh, no, about another three inches, I think. Let's get another three inches or so onto here, maybe two. Try it again. Yeah, let's bling it up, shall we? Cling it up in 2021. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. These are nice ones, the stripy ones. I wonder how they make these in a, on a commercial level. Because, you know, it's this, these aren't made by individuals. They're made in machines and factories, aren't they? Now, there's a very dark one there. We better put a couple more in so that it doesn't look too lonely. Come on. In your own time. There it is. Little little thing. Uh, that's nice. A few more of the pinks, I think, in this end here. I like these pinks. I can make another one with this, which is very red. That's a lovely one. We'll do a redder one as well next time we make beads. Right, let's see how that's looking. Let's do it this way. Nope, too short, a little bit longer. I like it to be about there. Just fills that gap in your neck. I'm not going anywhere to wear beads, but I can wear them for me, can't I? Oh, that's a nice one. Let's pop that one on. Uh, what have we used that we have not used at this end? Um, those ones are nice. Let's put that one in then. Oh, I've just done that one. Uh, let's put a couple of these in. Tiresome. Come on, bead. I know you've got a hole. I know you have. Stop covering it up. Ah, I had it then. There it is. There we go. Bigger one there. Yeah, one more. Then we'll clinch it off. Now then. What we need now is a couple of crimping beads. 
on here. Let's just check actually that I do that I do like that. Yeah, I do. So a couple of crimping beads on here. Two. You can put more on if you wanted to, but two feels a bit like belt and braces to me. We put those on. Then through the end of this other magnetic thing, I'll take it off so it's easier to work with. Through the end of that, like so. It's all about fiddly, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Then through those two crimping beads again. Now, the thing about beads, I don't know anything about how to make jewellery so if you're a proper jewellery maker and you're watching me and you're cringing then I am sorry but one of the things I know is that you shouldn't pull that bit too tight because you do want this to have a little bit of movement so I'm not I'm going to just ease it back ever so slightly and then with my pretend um I did it with the I'll do it with these okay we're going to crimp those now like that and I've just remembered something I used to do and I haven't done it so that's nice and tight there now and then I'm going to feed this back through the beads a, a good way before I cut it off so that it's got a chance to um, get you know it's like this is like when you've finished a bit of knitting you sew your ends in I'm sewing my ends in guys I'm sewing my ends in so it's tracking back through, whoopsie daisy, through quite a few of those like that. Tracking through. Like so. And then actually that's probably enough. So then I'm going to cut that off. Remember to cut the right one. <laughs> like so. And there it is and it's got a bit of movement to it it's got it's got a bit of give they're not tight then I mean that's the genius thing is that the thing just magnets itself together what do we think it's all right isn't it <laughs> it's all right I like the size of it I like the size of it very much yeah it's okay and I've got enough beads. Well, I've got these ones, which are sort of a bit more going on with these ones. But these ones might be just like sort of everyday weekday beads. <laughs> I like the clasp very much. It's really easy to wear. Now, what I'm going to have to do now then is decide what I'm doing with all of this lot and get all. Let's put these away and get everything put away again. But I like those and when I'm doing the washing up here all by myself in lockdown I'm gonna wear my beads <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that doesn't go with what I'm wearing I'll have to dress to suit my beads <laughs> thanks so much for watching I'll get back to you soon uh, but now I'm going to stop and go outside and take some photographs because it's so beautiful out there, sun shining. It's a shame not to be outside. See you later. Bye now. <laughs>